Hi guys, this is Jaden Phelps with Singing From Rest and today we are going to learn how to identify notes on the staff and what their names are. And please stay tuned for the whole video because toward the end we're going to do a little quiz to test your knowledge and help drill that into your mind so you can really understand what we're doing and have it memorized. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this diagram here. It says note names, treble clef, and then below it you see a music staff. Now look far to the left. That little squiggly thing that you see right there, that is called a treble clef. What the treble clef does is tell us what types of notes we'll be playing. Sopranos, altos, and sometimes tenors sing on this music staff. There's also a bass clef that is for tenors, baritones, and basses, but we're just going to stick with the treble clef for today. You're going to notice that on the left side of our staff, we have little circles that are on lines. And on the right side, we have little circles that are on spaces. Those circles are notes. And the letters below them are the names of the notes. Now, the ones that are on the lines, we read that from bottom to top as E, G, B, D, and F. But who really wants to memorize just the letter names, right? We have to have a fun mnemonic device for that. So what we use is every good boy does fine. And guess what? It rhymes with line. Every good boy does find rhymes with line. So you know, going from bottom to top, that's your little mnemonic device. Now look to the right. We have all of our space notes. Face rhymes with what? Space. So face rhymes with space. Every good boy does find rhymes with line. How cool is that? That makes it so much easier to remember where these notes are positioned. What I want you to do is memorize these. Look at this really closely. You know why? Because we're going to do a little quiz now. Go ahead and take out your piece of paper and pencil. I want you to draw this treble clef here and five lines. All right. Once you have that completed, I am going to flash a couple different letters at you and I'm gonna say, draw the note A. And what you're gonna do is find the A space and you're going to draw a circle in the A space. Or if I say, find an F, you're gonna find the F line and you're gonna draw an F in that line. Hopefully you paid attention for the last couple minutes. Are you ready? Let's do this. Draw A. Draw B. Draw F. Draw D. Draw C. Draw E. Draw G. Draw F. Draw A. Draw E. Awesome, how did you do? All right, now I have a treble clef here with my five lines and four spaces, and I have little colored dots on these spaces. So what I'm gonna do is call out a color and you are going to write down what note that is. Are you ready? What note is the orange circle? What note is the red circle? What note is the light blue circle? What note is the pink circle? What note is the yellow circle? What note is the dark purple circle? What note is the light purple circle? What note is the dark blue circle? Here's the answer key for you. How did you do? Hopefully you did well. 
All right, so now that we've gone through this whole process, you may be asking yourself, okay, now I know how to read the notes on the staff, but how do I know how to actually play them or sing them? Well, you are in luck because the next video we are going to talk about where those notes are located on the piano, how to memorize where they go, and how to actually sing or play them. If you have any questions about any of this, please leave something in the comments below and also subscribe so you can get more videos. All right, keep working hard. We'll see you next time.